you know, and it's, you know, it's more than just my nostalgia goggles because mm -hmm. I mean, my nostalgia goggles were on big time. Um, I was at uh, SDC the year they announced Sonic Four, and that that was the announcement there. I was in the crowd. I was going wild. Uh, my mis my nostalgia goggles were on full 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 force and fog, fogged yeah, up. Yeah, fogged up. <laughs> um, I knew something was fishy. I knew something didn't look right, but I wasn't able to tell you what um, because I had a boner for Sonic Four. Right. You know. We've all been there, man. With the game. Yeah, you know, and when it came out, my my disappointment just like. Lean back and when I told you so, they don't know what they're doing. Um, but you know, so Sonic has been a game series that has been near and dear to me, and I'm glad to finally see it treated right. Mm -hmm. Same with this, like, yep. and I know Bloodstained isn't exactly a Castlevania. Yeah, it's it's not. Castlevania Symphony of the Night 2. It's it's a game made in the style of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. But you know what? It's not necessarily the Castlevania that makes this game good. Right. It's the atmosphere, the, the visuals, the sound, the gameplay. That's what makes this game a good game. Right. And I feel like if Bloodstained can capture that with new characters in a new castle or wh wherever it's at, I haven't, admittedly, I haven't been following the development super closely um, because I want to be pleasantly surprised yeah. when it comes out. Right. Um, wait, why am I going this way again? I don't, I don't know, but that map is filling out gorgeously. Yeah, I already circled back like I was meaning to, so. Um, you know, I, I really want to be pleasantly surprised, and I really, I really believe wholeheartedly that they can recapture this feeling of game. So. See, what's funny is, I know we're saying it's not a Castlevania game or not, but I played uh, Lord of Shadows, mm -hmm. and I love that game. And then, then I started reading online about it, you know, and then people were like, Castlevania fans were like, hey, it's a good game, but it's, it's not Castlevania. Yeah. Like it's it's this the presentation, the graphics, it was gorgeous. But it just was not at the core Castlevania. Castlevania. And it's it's really it's really sad because Castlevania is still a pretty varied series, even mm -hmm. within itself, you know. Even at this point in time Castlevania is varied. Yeah. You know, Castlevania one and three and Super Castlevania and Castlevania two, I guess, if you really want to include it. Um <laughs> Medusa head. I mean, the I've I the within the past few years I've played through Castlevania to um with that mod that that kind of fixes some of the problems. Right. Um. And honestly, when you play through with that mod, it's not so bad. Um. It's almost enjoyable. Almost. Yeah, I mean that's that's the best I can say about Castlevania too. But it's it's such a varied series, even by this point, that right. when they made Lord of Shadows and Lord of Shadows Two, which I never really touched. Yeah, I didn't touch the second. I heard it was horrible. I the see, first one got good ratings. Yeah. The second one I heard it was horrible. See I haven't Maybe we need to give it a try one day just to see. Yeah. But, um, I'm on the clock tower. I the clock tower. I don't even need to bother going down there because I'm going to fall at one point and have to go back through it. Um, Lord of. I told you. Lord of Shadows really feels like to me. Like it was made during Konami's downfall. Yeah. And. I've managed to, I mean, mention it's kind of a little bit, but managed to talk around the Konami problem. Konami, I know you're not hearing this. I know you don't care. But we loved you. Like, 
we yeah. loved you. You've you, you, you've been with many of us since our childhoods, and yeah. I, I don't know. I'm just running and punching things. Um, but yeah, Konami. What the fuck? You know, get get some help. Get get yourself cleaned up. <laughs> um, I I know to your company, it's only ever been about making money. It's never really been about the art the experience yeah um but you still somehow crafted some amazing experiences yeah through it all um you know why are you making pachinko why just i mean i i could go on about all the dick things y'all have done but really it not, n I could say nothing that hasn't already been said. Mm -hmm. We're just, we want you back, Konami. <laughs> you know, you you went, you did your own thing. You're seeing other people, but deep down in our hearts, we know who you used to be. We know you were there for us. <laughs> That's just my two cents on Konami. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I didn't play a lot of Castlevania, but you know, you, you know this about me. Listeners may not know this about me so far, but Metal Gear. Loved Metal Gear, man. Right. Loved it. I remember on my Vita, you know, I played on PS2. I never had a PS1, sadly. So my first one I played was Metal Gear Solid 2. But uh, 2, 3, I played, uh, man, what was the one on uh, PSP? Um, where you take control of Big Boss, I can't remember. You build the army. Anyways, I've played over and over and over hours of this. I have actually, one time, only managed to do this one time, no gear. I made a whole playthrough without being alert, or causing an alert scene the whole time. And, uh, I, it was, I think it was Snake Eater. And at Snake Eater at the end, they would always give you animal ratings, like, based on how you played. I got, uh, I think it was Caterpillar or Snake, because I literally was on my stomach crawling the whole game. <laughs> the whole game. But needless to say, what I'm trying to say is, you know, I played Metal Gear Solid 5. 5. Good game, but I just felt like there was so much in it. You know, it just didn't have that same feel that I fell in love with Metal Gear with. And it's the same thing. Like, don't change what's working for you. Add to it, sure. Like make it a little more modern, yes. But don't essentially take away what what made you. Yeah, you know, let let your properties evolve over time. Yeah. Um, but don't change their core. No. You know. No. Um, and you know, I I think a lot of the changes in Five were Kojima. Yeah. Um, but a lot. It's it, it lacks a lot of the polish mainly because Konami, you know, I I feel, and you know, it's it's pretty well established that there was a lot of rushing. Fuck, fuck. There was a lot of rushing being done. There was a lot of. Um, so you can't attack. Yeah, can't attack any groups. There was a lot of Konami being Konami and not understanding, like, and you know, maybe it's for the best. Yeah. Maybe it's for the best that Konami dies. But, you know, really? Konami, if you're gonna die, do it gracefully. Yeah. You know, be nice. Give your IPs away to people that are actually going going to treat them well. You know, if... You know, if a parent dies and their only child is left around, they don't let the child die with them. No. You know? Set um, them up for the best future possible. Give... Give Silent Hill to Kojima, please. Please. My You're making them call it Hidden Hidden Valley. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Alright, no, it's uh, actually Valley. Yeah. I just wanted to say that because, yeah. you know, ranch dressing. My yeah. bad. Silent Hill Whispering Mesa. That's yeah. yeah. Now what is it? Death Stranding? Yeah. I'm kinda interested in it. Yeah. But I mean Well they got us all excited on that. Yeah, trailer. The, the peachy. And, yeah, no. Uh, the the demo and all yeah. that stuff. You won't go unrewarded. Oh. 
Yeah, so this is the librarian. Um, he's like, I can't help you! And then Alucard's like, I'll pay you. And he's like, I can help you! <laughs> and then that's, yeah. <laughs> that's basically how it works. Yeah, so you can buy items here. I'm gonna buy potions because I suck. Um, most of these I can't, can't buy. Library card to te teleport straight here. Um, I should have bought like a leather hat. Um, cloaks, castle map. <laughs> Buying that. Hey, good number. I'm interested. I put 33, <laughs> or gold 33. And then you can sell the gems you've picked up. I'm interested. You can buy tactics for fighting. So it'll tell you how to beat. Yeah, but only things you've already fought. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of silly. And then there's the enemy list you can look up. Yeah. So, blood skeletons. Mm. Yeah. So. Farewell for now. Farewell for now. There's there's some other things I'm forgetting in here though. I don't have the double jump yet. I don't have a lot of things yet that I need to get. Um, and I already progressed so like progress so quickly. Right. That's pretty amazing. Dude. Seriously. I, I do forget a lot of the, um, the, uh, patterns, but, um, my, my memory isn't what it used to be, guys. so, I, or guys and guys, listeners, or whatever, we, we, we don't have a, we don't have a nickname for our viewers. No. Um, uh, but yeah, I my 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 memory is shit. <laughs> so you know if if I get a fact wrong, uh, if I forget something, you know, and th th this goes from now until the future. Ooh, the fairy card. Uh, scroll, scroll, fairy scroll. See. Um, so now I I see the the enemy names as I'm punching into. Oh, great. So, now you know who you're hitting with it. Right. So... Hi, Steve. How yeah. you doing, Steve? So, so you can stop asking, what, what's that? Well, what's that? <laughs> because it's down there in the bottom right now. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, my memory sucks. Yeah. Um, like, like you just <laughs> forgot. <laughs> yeah. D d don't get mad, people. Like, I'm... I'm human, I think, um, and I forget things, so, yeah. Oh, that was nice. Now, this, stop running away. You know, for a long time, I thought those were boxing gloves coming out, but they're actually skulls. Kind of looks like it. That's yeah. what I was thinking for a second, too. Like, what is it? There we go. I think it would be cooler if it were boxing gloves. I have 23 health. I'm gonna die. Well, that map just went bananas on me. Yeah, so this is... It's not the full map. So, there's a lot of secret spots that aren't there. Um, but this is... This is kind of the basic map. So... You're on. Whoa. Actually, I learned a lot about monsters and mythology from Pennsylvania. I could see that. Um, because I, I'd see these things and go, well, what, what the bloody fuck is that? And then I'd go look it up in my encyclopedia because I didn't have the internet at the time. Yeah. Uh, the first time I was playing this. Um, so. I'm going down. Okay. And then... Dang, that elevator looks like really hard. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. That, that elevator ain't fucking around. Um, yeah, I'll go this way. Save. That part reminded me of, like, Stargate. The movie Stargate or something. I don't know. Yeah. I remember always trying to watch that movie, dude, and I'd always fall asleep. I could never finish that stupid movie. Hey, you know, I wish I had a movie that I fell asleep to like that, because then it would be a cure for insomnia. Yeah, I might have to start trying to do that again. 
Yeah.